Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to explore the Sudan. We will be exploring Sudan for different queries. We will see that how we can, uh, you know, access a Sudan in a CLI. Actually, I was born and brought up in a CLI environment in my career. So I prefer to access uh, the Sudan in the CLI as well. So we will be exploring the different commands. And also I will give you the, uh, the useful websites where you can explore and get the more valuable information related to the Shodan. Those you can find in the descriptions. So let's jump into that and we'll see it. Okay, for the installation part, we have to install the Shodan. For that, uh, we have a couple of options. I'm using this Python pipe and the package installer and uh, you can use this command to install it. So I will show you here, pipe3 install Shodan. This is the command which will be uh, installing the Shodan for you if you have the Python 3 installed. So it says that already satisfied. So I have already installed the Shodan. And after this, there is another command because you need a account to search some of the queries. So you have to have the API keys. So you try to make the account over there. And once you make it, have some kind of uh, you know subscription. If it's not possible, then I think uh, some of the commands uh, you cannot you know, execute it because there is a difference that what you can do. Uh, even my in my subscription, I don't have all of them, but I will try to show you that how we can achieve uh, some of the meaningful uh, you know outputs. So the command for this, once you finalize, show down in it and your API key, and this is the command where you need your API key once you uh, have the account and subscription to it. So this is the whole about the installation. Once it is installed, then you can go ahead and let's see what we can do. So here is the help of the Shodan. Once it is installed, it will show you that Shodan and then hyphen hyphen help. So it will show you the different options. Those are available. So we will be exploring most of these options. Uh, let's see one by one how we can leverage all of these options. So before I will jump into these options, let's start. Uh, what is that Shodan info? Info it shows the general information about your account. So I will show you that one. Shodan info. So it, it is showing that what is that uh, general information about like, you know, how many queries, how many credits are there. So in such kind of information you can see from here. And uh, you can easily uh, grab this information because you cannot exceed the informations uh, or, or your queries, which is mentioned here. So this is good when it comes to know that how many queries or credits are available, because sometimes you execute so much and you try to query a lot of information. In those cases, your credit has to be there. So let's go ahead and try to see the first one is domain command. What is the that domain command is? Shodan domain, let's see CNN and uh, it will take a little bit of time once you see here all the domain informations like uh, what kind of entry it is. This is the DNS A type entry. So it is giving me the all the information related to CNN domain and uh, and what type of uh, like uh, C name. This is the DNS entry for C names. So you can uh, avail about your target or leverage this command to get more information about the domains of any particular organizations. In this case is CNN. So next one is a host. Host is the view all available informations for an IP address. In this case, we will be using the host command. So let's go ahead and see what we can do in the host. We'll be seeing the showdown host. And let's see 222, what is that? So it's saying that it is uh, actually that it MDNS and it is resides in the city called Paris and this country France. So it's giving the information like a host scan, you can say. And you can also do it for Google. Let's see for what Google says. Google also you say that the UDP uh, port number 53 is open. It's uh, Google. And you can use any any public IP address to have the visibility about the ports, especially the open ports, regardless of its UDP or its TCP or any other port. So let's check this one. 
it's also that UDP port of 53. So I'm checking all of them, the one which is uh, pretty known. And let's check one another one, which might show some of the information. In this case, I am using a one public IP address. So it's showing that uh, port number 21 is open, 22 is open, and uh, 25 is open. So you can see uh, all this information. It's like an map this time. So they are using this command host and the IP address to find out uh, all the uh, open ports regarding the target. Next option here, it is uh, the my IP address. My IP will show you your external public IP address. So you can also browse using the what's my IP address in the, in the browser, but this will show you the what is your IP address. So in that case, it's not very useful. But uh, if in case you, you want to know what is your public IP address, this command can be helpful in those cases. So uh, let's go to the next one, next one which is uh, uh, we will be using the organizations ORG. So in that case, ORG, you can specify any organization name and uh, that will search for you. Let's check another command which is called uh, stats. Stat is quite useful. For example, I will go ahead and show you that how we can use it. So done stat, stat IAS, let's suppose. In those cases, uh, it will show you that uh, IAS, how many servers from each country perspective, or US, how many servers IAS they have, and uh, what are the co corporations, and this information, top 10 result, top 10 result based on the organizations. So you can search based on the organization and also based on the function or you can say in this in, in this case I am searching based on IAS. It's giving me that server list. Those are running. And if I would like to scan for Nginx. So it will show me that Nginx based on the top 10 countries and top 10 organizations those are running. It is also the US is number one and we have uh, France here, Russia here, a couple of other countries and the organizations you can see that, uh, who is running Nginx. So that is quite useful well, if you are, if you want like to know based on the product or uh, based on the services then it is quite useful to have the stats on, the, on that. Let's try to explore another command which is honey score. Uh, gives whether the IP is honey or not. So it will tell you that the IP address belongs to honey port because most of the time have, we have seen honey is uh, honey systems online. So are you exploring the honey or it is something else? So I'm using the honey score and let's explore this 8.8.8. .8 .8. What is this? And what will be the score for? It says zero. So if the honey score is high, it means that uh, site is uh, like you know uh, has some issues or maybe the honey pot in those direction you can say that it depends upon the score I am using this another public IP address let's see how it goes the honey score you know the score is now high so as as the score goes up it will tell you and it will also tell you that it is whether it's a honey pot or not so this is another good command because you should know it's a real target or it's a honey pot Let's jump to the another one which is uh, count and uh, when it comes to the count let's see how we can leverage this count because it's written the number of results based on the search. So how we can leverage this count options for example I would like to know regarding the vulnerabilities so I can use this count option for example I am using this vulnerability option and using this vulnerability called CN. So if I have the subscription, then this vulnerability option works X to be very honest. So I don't uh, subscribe to that enterprise level. That's why I don't have this flexibility to see that how many vulnerable ap applications or the host exist. So this is another valuable command, but it shows the count. And uh, let's see uh, some other informations regarding to the search. Search is the main one. Search has a lot of things to do it. So we will be searching first uh, based on some strings and based on products. 
so let's start one by one so here it is the search based on ms sql product if it is uh, product ms sql then you can see its public ip address and this is their port number and which organization is belongs to amazon aws so many are running on aws so i will be you know quitting but you got my uh, you got the idea how can do it let's search based on the titles if you know some titles then search will give you the based on titles informations i am searching this wind wind and you see the it's searching based on the title and title must contain this information if you try to access any of these that will show you that this title is there and this is related to the title let's go to the another one if i would like to search based on port number then what will be the situation in those cases you just specify the port and just after specifying port you can see your port number is here and your public ip is here so that is another one if you want more granular in those areas and you can go ahead and specify the product as well because most of the time uh, you have to be a little down and and get the valuable information so here is the product which i receive niagara and if i want uh, some other like two ports or one product is this possible yes it is also possible because that's also customizable so you can see the command for it so here is a two uh, two uh, i specified two ip sorry two port numbers and one is product related to it also i would like to know this based on the server server information so how we can do it in those cases yes also we can also do it using the server tag and i am using the uh, prism view player here so you, that is also possible you can see you can access all of these and it will show you that information this is related to the server let's suppose i need http title something then how how i can achieve this oh in that case this the syntax looks like like that http dot title i am accessing tesla and specifying these parameters those are in the search so you can see this is the tesla one and you can validate this information let's go ahead and looking for the cookies based cookie uh, like mongo express or something like that or because cookies is quite useful when it comes to the um, bug bounty then you can search based on cookies informations for example cookie has this parameter which i say the mongo express is equal to set cookies then it is also useful to identify the target based on cookies okay the the, the recent vulnerability which is discovered uh, related to exchange for example i need to know the all the 2013 or 16 exchange this is the command which is quite helpful which will look for the http dot uh, title outlook and look for the oba and you can see all of these exchanges and uh, we can verify if you would like any of them okay let's go ahead and try to validate whether we are getting the right information yes you can see right now yeah we are getting the right to invalidate information on this regards but the thing is uh, okay i need some specific country because uh, this one is to the all words you know i want some specific country in those cases we can also customize and add uh, one parameter called country i am specifying here i am india so it will show me all that informations related to the indian where it is running the http outlook so this is the output you can see dot in dot in and if i would like to know only the ias 10 ias 10 with outlook and running over in those cases we can also specify this search and uh, can see this server ias 10 i specified and same parameters which is http dot title outlook i am searching and 
here is the output so all of them is running IIS 10 if uh, I would like to know anonymous login and with those have already authenticated it means like uh, you don't need to have a password so in those cases I am using this 220 and 230 login successful and specifying the port number so let's go ahead and search for it let's see we can get it and try to log in any one of them okay here it is so I will copy this and let's see okay I try to connect this yes I can connect to it so all the informations you, you saw that how we can retrieve based on different queries so it's not a big deal but you should know that what you are searching if you start with the wider for example your target is IIS then start with IIS go with the specific parameters to go to what you are looking for if you're looking for the cookies then look for the cookies parameter that can be done so apart from this I am I you know uh, updating some of the links in the descriptions where you can explore the more commands more than I think 100 or 100 plus uh, you know commands are available so you can explore all of this and use it for your recurrent space hope you like this video if it is then don't forget to like and subscribe bye take care